perfect. So we're gonna start using um, the Omnichroma product in a class two restoration on a premolar. So let's go ahead and get going. So I'm just removing all the old composite. There's an open margin. The molar may have something too, but we'll do it another time. There you can see some decay there, so let's get rid of it. Okay, let's apply, um, we're gonna apply the carries dye, so that's gonna help us pop out any remaining carries. There is some staining there, so I just wanna make sure it's decaying and not um, just a stained tooth. We're just gonna rub this for a few seconds and then we're gonna rinse that out. It's just a cavity dye, carries dye. Okay, so it's actually not too bad. Let's do a little bit more. So there is a little bit of stained dent in here, which is actually um, really good because I'm going to show you how to use the um, the Omnichroma blocker to get rid of that color. But I'll just smooth it out a little bit more. I'll just pause that. So one thing that I really like to do before I uh, start restoring is I'll use a mosquito board, kind of like this, and just to make sure all my contacts are clear because otherwise um, you can fumble with your matrix, so you just don't want to do that. So rather than opening up the contact of the tooth more and removing a lot of tooth, I just use that to just open it up. So we'll just do that super quick. really good. So I'm gonna place this clear um, sectional matrix band. I really like using the clear one. It has a really nice shape to it and that will help get a nice contour to the tooth. Now we'll put the wedge back in. So let's put the ring on. We're gonna place a Garrison Matrix band on it. Um, a Garrison Matrix ring just to get a little bit more separation. I like to warn the patient that they may feel some pressure at this point, and that's okay. Um, the only real drawback I find with using the clear Matrix bands is that um, you don't really see if you have the wedge sticking out, like if you have a void on the gingival. So I just take the Explorer and I just kind of brush it around there just to make sure I don't have um, a void or anything that I'm falling through. And it looks really nice. So that tooth is pretty much ready. And we do have that little bit of stain there that will block out with the Omnichroma uh, blocker flow. Okay, so the last step before we start putting the restoration in is we're gonna do a bevel around the cave surface margin of the tooth. I like to use a round diamond kind of like this one, and that's gonna help bond more predictably and better, but also improve the color gradation and help blend the restoration to the tooth. So now we'll um, apply the etch. You can do some air abrasion as well before that, but we'll just apply the etch to the enamel margin. I like to use a selective etch technique. And then we'll let that sit for 30 seconds. So we're gonna apply the Tokuyama Universal Bond. And we just have to get it on the tooth. You don't have to scrub it. Just get it into all the surfaces. 
and then we're gonna just air dry it so it's a five second gentle air and then five seconds a little bit stronger and I'll do another one two three four five so the amount of blocker that we're gonna use to cover the discoloration will depend on the intensity of the discoloration um, we're gonna start with half a millimeter and then see what that looks like and add more as needed until we get that covered up. Okay, let's cure that and then I'll add a little more. That looks a lot better now. Okay, so I like to also place a little bit of flowable on the gingival floor just to help seal that a little bit. So we're gonna do that right now. So I typically just use the tip of the flowable and apply it and spread it with that. You can also use um, the brush as well to spread it out after. And then let's cure that. Okay, and then we'll apply the composite. I like placing the flowable on the dentin and um, on the cavity floor first. I think it helps, um, just gives a little bit more time for that hybrid layer to mature. And then we'll put the composite. I like to start with the um, placing it um, at the contact area first and build that wall. So just help it spread to all the margins a little bit and create that seal. All right, and let's shine the light on that. So with the Omnichroma product, you do want to apply it in two millimeter increments. So you can see when you apply the Omnichroma um, product, it does look white. Um, and that's really helpful because you can see it very well. But once you cure it, don't worry, it's gonna turn into tooth color. Let's cure that. Okay, I'm gonna put the final layer on. Okay, and let's cure that. Okay, so we're all done. Let's remove and see what we've got. Just a little bit of a pull. We got a nice contact. Look how nice that looks. Um, we're gonna start polishing that now. So I like to use this mosquito burr just to um, go around the contour and get these little flyaways. So that's usually my first step. Let's take the rubber dam off and we'll check the bite. And then bite closed and chew. Good, and open. Okay, we do have a little bit of a high spot, so let's adjust that. So I like to use um, a polishing diamond, kind of like that, and then we'll get that high spot off. Okay, 
we'll check the bite again and chew. Let's do a little bit of polishing. Thank you.